former acting attorney general Matthew Whitaker. John Ratcliffe is a man you know well. Yeah, John and I were U.S. attorneys in the Bush administration, and he went on to success electorally, and I went back to the Department of Justice, ultimately becoming uh, the acting attorney general for four months. How do you think he'll do in this new role? You know, I think he's gonna. I think he's perfectly qualified to do this role. I think he's a smart, talented uh, individual. He's you know sort of cut his teeth uh, at the Department of Justice, so he understands sort of all the pieces and parts of not only the department but the government now at ODNI. I think he's just perfect uh, for that. He's straight out of central casting for that role. I know that you and for many of your colleagues, one of the biggest goals here is restoring confidence in the Department of Justice. And you think Bill Barr is the guy to do that? Yeah, I always thought since Bill Barr was identified as going to be the person that took over um, from after I took over for Sessions and then he took over for me, as uh, I really think Bill is the perfect person to sort of turn over every rock and restore the confidence of the American people uh, and the Congress and, and the courts in the Department of Justice. Now, there's a lot of great people at the Department of Justice, don't get me wrong. I think one of the challenges is we had several um, acts that appeared to be uh, politically motivated. Uh, and I think, I think Attorney General Barr is going to figure this out and he's going to do uh, look at the genesis of this investigation. He's got John Durham looking at that, who's a U.S. attorney out of Connecticut. Mm -hmm. He's going to prosecute anybody that needs to be prosecuted. You know, we still have Huber out there looking at some of these things regarding Comey's memos and the like. And so I just think there's a lot of things that Bill Barr is going to be bringing to a conclusion here. And since the Mueller investigation is over now, yep. and, and now we can focus on some of these questions that I think the American people have a right to know as to how these investigations started and whether any of them were politically motivated. So, be, so, so to be clear, John Ratcliffe, he will not have prosecutorial powers, but if it is found that laws were broken, Bill Barr will prosecute. Yeah, Bill Barr is the person. Now, what, what um, Ratcliffe can do at, the, at DNI is he can look at sort of the entire intelligence community uh, and, see, and see if there were uh, systemic failures um, for how these investigations were kicked off and some of the issues with uh, Papadopoulos and others um, and, and how other countries were interacted with. So I think it's going to be very interesting, but with Barr and Ratcliffe both um, working these angles, I yep. think they're the perfect team. And, of course, Democrats have d dismissed this investigation. Imagine that. It's gotten political. But, I mean, the politics around this, and we just came off of the Robert Mueller hearings last week, mm -hmm. It sounds to me like you have full faith when, when you mentioned John Durham and, and Michael Horowitz, that these are the guys to restore justice to the Justice Department. I want to ask you about what we just heard from Byron York there and John Ratcliffe sort of dropping that bomb on Sunday, talking to Maria Bartiromo, but talking about Glenn Simpson, Bruce Orr, James Clapper, uh, James Comey. Where do you think he gets? Well, there's a lot of unanswered questions here, and, and, and maybe some of the answers are simple. But we don't know, and I think this is very important. This is where the transparency and the accountability needs to come to bear. If, if somebody did something wrong or something did, somebody did something criminal, then they need to be held to account. That's the American system, and that's the way the Department of Justice works. But at the same time, if, if they're not, if, if everybody was above board, then the facts will tell the truth. I mean, that's an, and that's what we need to rely on. And, of course, on the part of Democrats, Jerry Nadler has been relentless on his calls for investigation, saying that this president is not above the law. And it does not look like Democrats are going to stop for their push for investigations, and of course, you're seeing that growing call for impeachment of this president. They're not, but it's over. And really, I was in the room with the president uh, as acting attorney general for several months, and what I saw is someone that was focused on making America great again and making the experience of the American people um, something that is uh, as good as it's ever been. And so, you know, you look at the economy, you look at the unemployment rate, you look at all of the things and, and the advances we're making in the immigration uh, system. I mean, just, this uh, president is accomplishing so much of his agenda. And I just, you know, we need to get this Mueller investigation behind us and move on to the important work of the American people. But at the same time, hold if there's if somebody did something wrong, hold them to account. Sounds a bit easier said than done for some members of Congress. Great to have you here. Thank Matt. you. It's a pleasure. Right, appreciate it.